Pride Art editor Milo Yiannopoulos facing plenty of backlash tonight for shocking videos that surfaced over the weekend. Let's discuss now CNN senior political commentators Jennifer Granholm, the former governor of Michigan, and Rick Santorum, former senator and presidential candidate. Senior, that means you guys are smart. Old. <laughs> or old. Right. <laughs> I was, when he said that, I was going to say, I'm yeah. sure Jennifer Governor says, speak for yourself, but then you weighed in as well. Uh, anyways, good to see both of you. Let's discuss this. Because, I mean, this was quite a, 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 a disturbing story for many, um, Rick. Milo yeah. Yiannopoulos disinvited from CPAC. Uh, from speaking there after these videos of him, and that's the disturbing part I'm talking about, appearing to defend pedophilia. How significant is this for conservatives to publicly reject him like this? Well, I think it was, it was a mistake to invite him in the first place. Uh, this, is a, this is a problem that, you know, I've been battling in the conservative movement now for quite some time, which is, you know, this, uh, this particularly among young people, uh, more edgy conservatism, more toward libertarianism. Now you hear the term alt-right. Uh, sort of getting away from, well, you know, I consider myself sort of a boring, down-the-line conservative uh, on all of the issues, uh, but we've been trying to uh, play around, and, and uh, you know, we, we've seen it with, you know, the libertarian Ron Paul uh, type of movement four years ago. Uh, we see it now with, uh, with some of this alt-right. Uh, this, to me, is, uh, that's not what the, uh, the Conservative Political Action Conference should be about. It should be about celebrating conservatism that we know is, is based on our founding principles, that, is, that has moral traditions, economic traditions, that are consistent with what we know works you're, in America. You're a traditional I conservative. We, I, think, I, understand, yeah. I understand where you're going, and those are your values. Why would, before I get to the governor, Rick, why would they invite, you said he shouldn't have been invited him anyway. Why have invited him anyway? Why would they invite him? You think they did their homework on him because there's so much information uh, uh, about him out there. Well, I mean, I, I, the things you just read. I mean, I'm just sitting here shaking my head. I said, how, how did they not know this? How did how did they not know that uh, th this guy who's gotten so much publicity uh, for for many controversial statements that he's made and doing his campus tour? I do a lot of speaking on college campuses too, and and I hear about you know I, uh, in many cases follow him on campus. And, you know, I hear of all the controversy around it, and I'm thinking, yeah. wow, you know, they put all the security around me, and it turns yeah. out we have really great conversations, and the kids are actually engaged and they're actually thoughtful. And, and you, have to, you have to look at yeah. when he's an entertainer trying to, you know, attract attention to himself instead of someone who's trying to promote a cause. Well, oh, that, well that is exactly what many on the left, or I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if they were on the left, but many that you saw on those college campuses, and, you know, by the way, you know, the destruction and all of that, the rioting, that was wrong. But they said, Governor, that's why they didn't want him there. It wasn't because he was conservative. It's because they thought he uh, was a provocateur who trafficked in hate speech. By the way, I just want to give yeah. this caveat before your response comes in. He still insists that the tapes were edited deceptively and that he does not advocate for illegal behavior. So, Governor, should they have done a little bit more vetting of this speaker? Of course, and it wouldn't have taken much for them to see. All you have to do is open one of his books or open one of his videos or follow him around. He goes from campus to campus for the purpose of attracting attention. I mean, honestly, Don, I, I wish that we weren't even discussing this person's name because he is a publicity parasite. He is all about getting additional clicks, additional followers, and, and I don't want CNN to be an accomplice to that. He is, as Frank, Rich, and you were just discussing, he is not just provo you know, promoting in this clip pedophilia or apparently doing that, but he has also been such a, a, a spewer of hatred, of hatred of women, of hatred of the transgender community, of hatred, which is kind of ironic given that he's gay overtly. And, and it's, it's his, his, his hatred of Muslims, it, the fact that he was hired by Steve Bannon. I'd like to see Steve Bannon and Donald Trump disavow him publicly. In fact, the last time he was at, at Berkeley, at UC Berkeley, Donald Trump tweeted in support of him, saying we should let this guy speak. I think people need to do their homework about this guy. Thank goodness CPAC actually did disinvite him, but people mm -hmm. need to do their homework in advance. So both of you agree that CPAC did the right thing? Correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, you know, he was on Bill Maher uh, this past weekend, and it was a fiery exchange with him uh, and, and the other panelists there, um, including, you know, our very own, own congressman, uh, Jack Kingston, was on. I thought Jack uh, did a great job this weekend on that show. Real Time was so controversial, though, that another guest, Jeremy Scahill, who was booked on the same episode as Milo, dropped out. Um, did Scahill do his homework? He seems to be saying exactly what, what you said, Governor. 
that he should not be given a platform. Why were people giving this, you know, guy who traffics in hate their beliefs a platform, Governor? Well, I would. I mean, Bill Maher is a comedian and he's an entertainer. It is a slightly like to move to another subject we will. because we are helping him out. Okay, I got you. I think that's all he. They're doing a book deal. It appears that now maybe they've done uh, their homework. Do you agree with that as well? Do you feel well, like that's silencing again, him? Again, look, uh, they've, uh, book deals have been given to a lot of people that I don't agree with and have done many horrible things. So uh, that's that's a business decision more than it is anything mm -hmm. else. But uh, I think Matt, Sh Matt Schlapp and at CPAC did the right thing, and I'm glad they did it. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about more um, and move on from this subject. There's much more important things to discuss uh, as well. We'll be right back.